Welcome guys, it's been a while since I last uploaded, but today I'm going to show this insane botting tool and the correct way to use it. There's way too many features to talk about so let's get into it. I'm currently using a local server to show the basic features. We'll go into a multiplayer server to test proxies later on. We're going to launch our program. So here we have our general tab. These are the basic options that make the boss join the server. You can use your account list from the accounts. You can add your own accounts with files. And if you want to use your Microsoft account, then please go to auth and then Microsoft. We're going to be using crack for this tutorial. Then here you can select your version. For this video, I'm going to go with 1.21.1. So let's start putting bots in the server. After the bots join, you can go to your botting tab and see all the bots on the list. So from here, you can pick which one you want to control. Automatic is enabled, so it's going to select everyone as soon as they join. You can change the delay between each bot with linear delay. Let's put 100 milliseconds. Next to the hotbar, you can pick your slot and use it. Inventory. So this one is kind of confusing to a lot of people, but I'll put the inventory slot numbers on the screen. And these things are self-explanatory. Movement. You can go forward. Okay, but the linear delay will work with movement and everything basically. Anti-AFK, interact, you can interact with blocks in game. Killora is basic Killora that comes with every hack client. So yeah, that's basic Killora. The basic muker that comes with every hack client. <laughs> Next thing we got Pathfinder. And here they are, sorry, follow me. They are smart. It's not like they're looking at me and just walking forward. They can't find their way. And now I'm just gonna follow them. And they're all following it around. Up. Okay, next up we got scripting. Now, if you don't know all the keywords, go to settings, enable action logging, and then you can manually do what you want the bots to do, and then it's going to tell you the script. And then you just paste it in. Delay is measured in milliseconds. So if I enable run on spawn, it will connect and wait for it to spawn and then execute the script as you can see webhook is basically discord webhook so here if you send a test to our webhook now let's move on to proxies I'm gonna go with tox5 let's scrape so we're gonna test out our proxies against our target server Let's give it a minute. So we got some proxies. Let's send them to the server. And here you can see the bots joining with the proxies. I'm using public proxies. Ideally, you would use some private proxies or a whole bunch of get proxies. It's going to give you better results. And for how to get this tool, it's currently 19 US dollars. You can join the Discord server and install from, from the buying channel here. After you purchase your key, 
go to verify and authorize your key. It's going to give you the role. Also, guys, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of 2025, and you can make it happen. So hit that sub, and thanks for watching.